Question. What happened on November 30th, 2022? Answer. That's when OpenAI released ChatGPT into the wild. Hi, my name is Chris Stevenson, Director of Product Marketing for Search and Platform at Algolia. Our chat is timely. Forbes recently published the Cloud 100 list, where Algolia is proud to be represented, as is OpenAI, and OpenAI landed in the number one spot. So now let's tie the two streams together. In the past year, there have been quantum leaps forward for both natural language understanding and artificial intelligence, specifically what's known as generative AI. And our question then is, has this changed consumer behavior? When they go to a website and they go to the search bar, they type in text, is there, is there a shift in how that end user interacts with the search? And the answer is yes. The average query length has changed or shifted from 2.9 words to 6.8. And we see that trend only continuing because people are being conditioned to have more of a conversational experience with their search. You know, you and I were humans, right? So we prefer to talk back and forth like this, you know, natural language processing taking place at present. But our robotic overlords who are likely watching and observing, they process things with zeros and ones. What has happened now in this past year is that divide, or as we say in tech field, the chasm has been crossed. With these advancements in large language models, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and natural language processing. And now Algolia has published an ebook called From Keywords to Conversation, Get Ready for AI Powered Search. We provide updates on, you know, how did we get to this point? And I wrote the paper with the historical context in mind. We even cite the Turing test for those of you in the know, like, are you real or are you artificial? Anyway, we talk about the history, how we got to the present, and of course we project into the future. You know, well, how is this changing search? So again, back to you and I, we want to be understood. At Algolia, we brought together what has been our market leading keyword search for the past decade plus with a vector search capability. And we dig into this in the paper, like what is vector search, but it's how we can then process or understand the intent of the end user. So that, you know, with the several examples we cite in the ebook, we give one on coffee, I prefer matcha. So let me give you an example. If I go to my local grocer's website or a large, say global chain that sells coffee and other beverages, and I type in, uh, Japanese ceremonial morning beverage. Did the search bar understand my intent? What were the results that I got back? Of course, I'm searching for matcha green tea. So there are several reasons why you should look for your organization to apply these advancements in search technology. So everyone is looking to apply AI somewhere in their company. It's like, I got a hammer. What is the nail now to hit? Search should be that nail. Three reasons. It's easy to deploy. It has a tight time to value, number two. And number three, it has a significant return on investment. We see when you add this ability to have intent intelligence with a search experience, it increases the click-through rate, the conversion rate, and ultimately then your revenue. You know, you're gonna make more money by having your end user feel like, hey, you get me, and that you're using AI in a smart way to understand the query as we do at Algolia at that level with the retrieval of the query, but also then with the ranking of results. So when my matcha green tea comes back, it's like, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So there are a few competitors in this space or other companies that are, are looking to bring this next gen search to the masses. Now, a few of them you might have heard of. I know this company, Microsoft, they did this product called DOS that I, I used when I was a kid. I think they're now trying to do search or something. Another one called Google. Baidu and this company, where are they based? In Amazon or something? Seriously, they are in a race to provide this next generation of AI powered search. Algolia is running this race just the same. So the question is, where will this race wind us around? Where will we go? Well, that's why you need to stay tuned and stay tuned until the next time we chat. <laughs>